Hello there and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Christine Kugler and I'm currently a professional dancer on board Royal Caribbean's Ovation of the Seas. And today I'm going to film a little video explaining the things that I wish I knew before I started working on cruise ships. I did make a part one of this video about a year ago, but I've been working on ships for a whole other year and I have a lot more to say. So here is a part two of the things I wish I knew. Just a little disclaimer, I'm on my second contract with Royal Caribbean. Everything that I say is my own opinion and stuff that I've talked about with other crew members. I know other ships might work differently. Other cruise lines may be completely different, but I am just gonna speak on my own experiences. All right, we're gonna jump right into it. I'm gonna tell you number one is the Wi-Fi is even worse than you think it is. I remember looking up online and trying to figure out what the Wi-Fi situation was on board. It's literally so much worse than you think. So for the Wi-Fi on board, we get 120 free minutes a week. You can also buy different packages. So for example, we have a $3.99 package for 60 minutes that you can use within 24 hours. Even if that sounds like a lot of minutes, it's really not at all because the amount of minutes that it takes you to load something, God forbid you forget to log out of the Wi-Fi and then all those minutes disappear because that happens literally all the time. The way it's been described to me is that crew members all share 20% of the bandwidth of the ship. So guests will get plenty of great Wi-Fi. They're of course paying a lot of money for their Wi-Fi packages, but there is nothing like that for the crew. Yeah, the best service we're gonna get is off on port. It's not gonna be on the ship. For reference, I literally can't post an Instagram post with the Wi-Fi on the ship. It is so, so slow. The frustrating thing is that everyone's is different. At least this contract, some of my friends are able to scroll on TikTok and FaceTime their friends and family back home. I literally can't. Not a single TikTok will load on my own Wi-Fi. And calling back home usually has an expiration of about two minutes before it lags and they can't hear me at all. So whatever idea you have as a crew member about Wi-Fi, just think 10 times slower than that and then add the price tag and then that is the reality of it. Number two is that everyone you meet on board is completely different to you. I know that might sound like a given, but if you just think about having a job back home, you're probably gonna be surrounded by coworkers who at least have a similar nationality or language than you, but that is not the case on board. If anything, everyone is so, so different. And that's the thing about ships is that you could have plenty of coworkers and friends who are not even from the same country as you. There are so many different languages being spoken, so many different cultures, and honestly, that is one of my favorite things about ships. Meeting people from different parts of the world and hearing where they come from and how they're up Bringing is so much different than mine. I think that is just the coolest thing we get to learn about working with so many different nationalities. It's a really cool opportunity to meet people from so many different places in the world. And I've definitely learned so much by making friends with people from literally every corner of the world. I'm not gonna sugarcoat that and say that there's never been any problems because there definitely can be a learning curve with having so many different cultures on board, especially when it comes to values and beliefs. Of course, that's something that is so personal to someone. Since we're all brought up so differently, there could definitely be clashes. I think that's where communication comes in and if they're your close friend, then you kind of understand where they're coming from. If I could give one piece of advice to anybody who ever wants to work on board a cruise ship is to come on board with an open mind and an open perspective. People may be completely different to you, some may be similar, but yeah, just come in with an open mind and then you just get to learn about so many new things. I still just think it's such a weird concept that the town that you may have spent your entire life in, there are other people who have never even heard of it before. So yeah, I just think it's cool and I love meeting people from different countries. Number three is you can go days without seeing the sun. I know that sounds dramatic, but honestly, it can be so true. Our crew quarters are down in deck zero, deck one, and deck two, and there's very limited portholes around here. So sometimes if you're just caught up in the routine of daily life and you're just working along, you forget to actually look outside and spend time in fresh air. I definitely try to make that a priority because I can really get some cabin fever. So whether it's going out on deck seven or walking the track, going to the gym, or stepping off in port, I think it's so important that we go outside and get fresh air at least once a day. It's honestly one of those things that you just forget about, especially if we have a few sea days in a row, you're really not thinking about going outside, you're just thinking about living your daily life and going through your routine and going to work. And then you look up and realize you haven't seen the sun in four days. So yeah, definitely something that I did not really expect before I worked on ships. 
I've also been talking to my friends about what they wish they knew before they started working on ships and one that I got so often was how many other duties we have on top of the job that we were hired for. So as you guys know, I'm a professional dancer. I got hired through an audition process and we obviously danced our booties off to get onto the ship. But little did we know that was only the beginning of what's actually on our job description. Our number one job before dancing is safety. Every crew member on this ship has their own safety duties that we are thoroughly trained in and actually get tested very often. So even though I got this job because I've learned how to kick and turn, I also know how to respond to emergencies, I know how to put out fires, and what fire extinguisher goes with different types of fires. We also have muster on turnaround days, which is when all the guests come on board the ship on the first day of the cruise and we give them their safety briefing and teach them all the safety things they need to know on the ship. This is just a common answer for a lot of us dancers who get on the ship and have no idea that this is a huge part of the job. The next thing I wish I knew was to have meal alternatives and snacks. Yes, we do get fed here on board and we do not have to pay for food, but that doesn't mean the quality of the food is amazing and sometimes you miss the mess hours and therefore it's closed and there's no food. Honestly, it happens so often. I'm in the gym or I'm distracted or I'm chatting with friends and then we look down and realize the mess just closed and now there's no food for dinner. So that is where I have learned to have meal alternatives in my cabin. There's also the slop chest, which is our little crew shop on board that has some ramen noodles and things like that that we can always grab if we need a snack. If you're not new to my channel, then you probably already know this, but my cabin is always stocked up on snacks. I go get groceries so that just in case there's one day where I really don't like any of the food in the mess or I miss the mess and it's closed, I have some sort of option to eat that night. The next thing I wish I knew was how many rules are really attached to everything we do on board this ship. Yes, I think it's amazing that I live on board this cruise ship and it's super cool that I get to experience some things that guests are obviously paying for. But as a crew member, there are rules attached to literally everything we do, especially brand standards and appearance is a big one. So there are literally rules for absolutely every single thing we can wear or not wear on this ship. I don't want to get into all the details of it because honestly there are way too many. It's actually so overwhelming and yeah, even in crew area we do have some sort of dress code. As cool as it is that we get to live on a cruise ship, that is something that a lot of us miss from back home that we could just kind of do whatever we want if we're in our own house and don't have any rules attached, which is not the case when you live on board the ship. Another thing I wish I knew before I worked on board is that if you try, you can save a lot of money. We are obviously not paying for room and board, we don't have to pay for food, water, electricity, any of that stuff, so there are a lot of expenses that can be cut while living on a cruise ship. But with that being said, there's also a chance for you to spend a lot because you just see money coming in and you're not really focusing on how much is going out. I find that my biggest expenses while living on board are Wi-Fi and getting off in port and shopping. Something I've been working on this contract is that I don't have to splurge every time I get off in port. You can literally just grab a $3 coffee, get off in port, go for a walk and enjoy your day and really not have to spend that much money. Obviously everyone's different. There are some people who are avid savers, some people who are avid spenders. I personally feel like I fall somewhere in the middle. I don't try to restrict myself from experiences or things that I wanna do, but I also know that I can't be spending a ton of money every single time I'm off in port because that's almost every single day. The next thing that I wish I knew that, honestly, this didn't really affect me much my first contract, but it has started to affect me my second contract, is how much free time we have. This is so dependent on your job and is obviously different for every single crew member, but I'm speaking as a dancer, if you are ever gonna be a dancer on a ship, be prepared to find another hobby to have on board. We honestly have some of, if not the longest contracts of anyone on board the ship, and therefore we are here for months and months and months at a time. My current contract is 10 months. My previous contract was 11 and a half months. I know that there are other ships where dancers are performing every single day, but I have not had to my past two contracts. We do have several days off a week. And as fun as it is and how thankful I am that I do get a break, sometimes it does cross the line where there is literally nothing to do and we're in the middle of the ocean and i honestly just want to perform shows for fun because i'm so bored i hate saying i'm bored but it has reached that level this contract where there is just nothing to do. You guys know me, I love making these videos, but sometimes I'm done editing, I'm done reading every book I wanna read, I don't have to perform that night, which can be very fun, and I am so lucky that I do have free time while I'm working on the ship, but 
it is just something to consider if you're ever going to be a dancer on the ship you should bring a hobby or have some way to fill up your free time while on board another huge tip and something that you should definitely know if you ever work on a cruise ship is to bring a hard drive a hard drive will keep you so busy on board because everyone has movies tv shows or even old royal caribbean shows a hard drive can keep you very busy on board because crew members have done so many contracts so we have thousands of movies and tv shows that you can download onto your hard drive by just asking friends around the ship as a performer we like to watch other royal shows as well on different ships so aqua shows 270 theater and ice skating shows we can collect from other people who've done other contracts honestly that's one of my favorite things to do is to watch the other royal shows because i get to see maybe what other shows i want to do or if i have friends that are on other ships i get to see what show they're performing currently you guys know i use my hard drive plenty for youtube and making my own videos but I also have plenty of royal shows, movies, and TV shows loaded onto my hard drive. And last but not least, I'm going to share the last thing that I wish I knew before I started working on ships, is that your roommate can make all the difference. I am so blessed to say that I've had two great roommates my past two contracts, but it can definitely make or break your contracts depending on the person that you live with. It's honestly so hard to find someone that you are compatible with and compatible to live with. And I thank God every single day that Eve is my roommate. She is literally my best friend and we have never even had a single problem. But I think a big part of that is that we both pride ourselves on being good roommates. Honestly, I know that's relative and I know, again, people come from different cultures and can be completely different. And it doesn't always mean that you will get along with the person you live with. Honestly, the only advice I can really give is to try to be the best roommate that you could possibly be and be the roommate that you you wish your roommate will be hopefully your energy matches and you're able to keep each other accountable but i know that could definitely be a struggle for a lot of people while working on ships we live in such tiny cramped rooms one bag on the floor creates a whole blockage and mess in the cabin but that is something that i did not know would affect me so much is having a good or bad roommate well there you have it i think i shared everything that i wish i knew or maybe wish i knew the extent of before i started working on a cruise ship and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you comment down below if you have any questions or if you want to chat about anything that I said. You guys already know what to do if you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Click that bell so you're notified every time I make a post. Wherever you are in the world, I hope you're having the very best day. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!